today we're going to be looking at how to bring in the data from RDS. So let's look at our environment details. Here is my demo server. I'm connected to my account, Matillion EU Central One. Uh, I have a default database. I have a public schema. I have a username and my password is stored in the vault. So let's connect and see if you can test it. I should see a success message. So there you go, looks good. Now we're gonna use our orchestration job. So let's create an RDS job. We're gonna call this um, RDS load. Switch to that. And we'll go to the components and we'll bring in our RDS query component onto the canvas. We're gonna connect them all together. Now you need to provide all the details for the RDS uh, which is the endpoint. You can connect to any of these databases um, in the RDS service. You can connect to Postgres, you have MySQL, um, you can see MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle, Postgres. Today we're gonna be using Postgres. Let's select that. And we're gonna provide the RDS endpoint for that. Click OK. And we will provide the database name, username and password. So the database here is Foodmart. And we will provide the username and password, Postgres SQL. And password is going to be uh, coming in from the vault, stored already. So click OK. And we will change the SQL query, which is going to be the source of the data from the RDS. So let's select it, select star from customer. Hit OK. Now we're gonna provide the S3 staging area. So we will provide the staging area, which is Matillion. And now we'll provide the target table. Um, and we'll copy all the data from the select star. So let's provide the name. I'm gonna call it STG RDS customer demo. Hit OK. Now you can see all of them will turn green. Let's validate it again. It should all come green. Uh, you can see everything looks good. Let's go ahead and run it. We're going to run the job. It's running in the background. Let's see if it's, it's staging the data. OK, it's completed. It pulled in 10,281 records. Now what we're going to do is we're going to confirm uh, if the data has made it. So let's create a transformation job, which will read the data from the table. So let's call it check RDS, check customer. OK. Switch to that job. Bring our, our table input component to read the data from that. So we're going to provide the name of the table here. We just created RDS customer demo. Hit OK. And we'll select the columns from the list to make sure we have all the data in there. We will select it them all. It should all turn green. Now, when I click on the sample, you can see if I click on the row count, you'll see 10,281 records that were uh, copied for using the run. So there is all the records you can see. Um, so this one looks good. 